These are the Topo Athletic Pursuit 2 shoes. I've been hiking with them all summer. This is my second pair. I've got about 400 miles on these and they've worked really well for me, but I've seen all kinds of different reviews out there. I've seen people say the toe box is narrower than the one, that it's wider than the one, same with the heel. So I figured, let me share with you my experience with these. And that's also like take a caliper out and see what it's all about. I took a caliper to the widest point of the toe box and the Pursuit 2 is definitely a few millimeters narrower than the Pursuit 1. Now, for me, hiking, I didn't even feel it. I didn't even know that. They felt pretty much the same to me. And to give you some uh, frame of reference on the width of the toe box, I measured the Ultra Lone Peak 8s at the same point, and those were 111 millimeters. So those are the widest ones. I looked at the heel on these and it looks like a little bit more minimal on the Pursuit 2 than the Pursuit 1. I didn't have any problem. Other people had problems. Again, it's it's a lot has to do with your foot and, and how you wear it, maybe even how you lace it up. One of the things I appreciated on the Pursuit 2, it didn't have that high arch. On the Pursuit 1, there's sort of like a bump on the inside that's built into the shoe, not part of the insole. And that was a little irritating until I got used to it. The Pursuit 2 doesn't seem to have that. The upper is a little bit different. I'd say the upper on this one dries very quickly. It's very soft. There's also a new insole in this, the FKT insole, which dries really quickly. Overall, these were just very comfortable. Uh, I, I remember when I first wore these, I thought, wow, this is what I wanted the Lone Peak to be a couple of years ago. It's got a really grippy outsole, unlike the older Lone Peaks, and it feels like a Lone Peak up on the top. It's soft, it's plush, it's a little bit softer to me than the Pursuit 1 was. It still has a good trail feel, zero drop, and over overall just the perfect shoe and I have like a whole bunch of shoes that I've been testing you can see my shoe graveyard behind me uh, these were the ones the pursuit twos that I always came back to that I always looked for unless I was doing a really really long hike and then I would pull out my ultra ventures which have a higher stack height a lot more cushy but less of a trail feel and compared to the Terra ventures the Terra ventures are also very comfortable and a great shoe I think if you had to compare the Terra venture to the pursuit Two, the Terra venture probably is a little bit more durable, has a little bit more of a trail feel, a little stiffer, and this is a little bit cushier, but very, very similar to a, uh, a Terra Venture to me. So that's what I had. What I'd recommend if, you, if you're on the fence about this is just get a pair, try them on. If they don't feel comfortable from the beginning, you should return them because it's probably not going to be a comfortable shoe. Everyone's feet are different, and that's the one thing, having tried all of these different shoes that I've learned, is that it's just all different. Generally, when I wear a shoe, it aligns a lot with what I see through hikers wearing. So I've wore the Lone Peak, I've worn the Terra Venture, I've worn the Speed Goat, and my feet seem to uh, kind of align with those long distance hikers in terms of what works for me and what doesn't, if that gives you some frame of reference. There've also been reports of these shoes falling apart. You know, you could pretty much sub any shoe manufacturer into that at this point. Uh, but if your shoe falls apart in the beginning, you know, buy it from REI or somewhere where you can return it if it falls apart right away. It happens, it happens more and more. I know Topo Athletic, I think was acquired a couple of years ago by another company. I don't know if that equates to a different manufacturing process, but I've seen it happen with all the shoes. Mine have been okay, but it's, I think it's a bit of a crapshoot there. If you've used these, uh, you know, let me know what your experience has been in the comments. It'll help other people looking for this shoe. And if there's other shoes you want me to try out, let me know as well. I'll tell you, I like these a lot, but when this pair is dead, I'm gonna move to my um, speed or mountain racers, my Topo Athletic mountain racers. I really love those. Those feel more aggressive than these. It's a five millimeter stack or a heel to toe drop. So it's not a flat shoe, but for me that zero to five, very, very similar, um, but they just feel fast. You feel like you want to kind of jump around on the trail. You feel like a mountain goat in those, whereas these are more cruisy for me, like, you know, just doing miles on a trail. The other ones are a little bit more fun and also comfortable, and they share a lot of the same qualities. You know, it's durable. It's got a wide toe box and uh, has the same kind of topo athletic DNA in it. All right, guys, hope this was helpful if you're trying to make a choice. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys uh, have experienced with them. All right, guys, thank you. And I'll see you out on the trails.